Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're playing some backpack battles and I just got to the survival mode in the game. And I'm going to show you my build. It's kind of my standby build. I was lucky with this time around. I got the pumpkin early. But but just uh, if you just look at the root of this build without the pumpkin, you can do it easily through the store process. So we're going on to the survival rounds. As you can see, I won... Up to here, I've got all my hearts. Let's go. So what I did here is, it's a really, it's my porcupine build is what I call it. And yes, I got lucky with the getting the pumpkin. This build is very uh, good at getting here to the survival round without it. So just keep that in mind. What I've done here is I've got the lucky piggies. They're facing the the uh, shields. Let's uh, just go through the store for this round. We At this point, we're looking for cloves, these lucky uh, clovers, so that this uh, thorn whip will hit like a truck. All right, we'll just uh, add this here. All right, so I'm going to have to move some stuff around here. I want to put this here now if you look at the build i've got the poison ivy i it's the pathfinder class i've got the poison ivy anytime i put a, apply a spike to myself i will uh also put a poison debuff a two poison debuff on my opponent so the pineapples do that give me a spike put the debuff they also heal me for three so i'm going to buy this i'm going to try to get this to work here I want it to go here with it go up like this put that up there move this maybe put this back uh, we've got three points left actually we'll put that up there all right we'll move this down to here all right that's looking pretty good for now we're going to save the three gold and we're going to go on to our first op uh, opponent in the survival round it's a berserker all right we got that one done all right nothing here i want nothing here i want i'll take another one of these it doesn't hurt i'll take another one of these just to put it near the pumpkin to give that pumpkin a uh, actually it uh, got food triggers faster for each food. So the food will trigger faster because it's near the pumpkin. All right. So I got 11. Nope. Nothing there. Oh, uh, that's exactly what I want to put here. Put this here. I don't think it's within the pumpkin. Yeah. It's just the way I've got this set up. All right. So we're down to two. All right. We're looking pretty good. We'll just flip this around here all right i think it's looking pretty good i think we'll do pretty good round two of the survival back end look at that 34 okay we're, we're gonna actually hit this hide button and it hides the victory window and we're gonna look at what the uh, shields were at so the shields were at 45.5% chance to block. So it's almost a 50% chance to block. And you've got two of them. All right. So you got two of them running with the, their spike shields. The, the banks are giving them the bonuses because they're within the star. The, the whip got up to 25 to 30 points of damage. So if it was critting, it was, you know, it would be doing a, a lot more. Well, you know, what happens with the thorn whip is it gains one damage for every thorn you've got. So I've got 21 thorns on me at the end of that. So it gets bonus damage. This collar then also gives it a uh, accuracy of plus 5% uh, per stack, right? And then the backpack that it's in, it's inside the, if I can get it to go, oh, there it is right there, the ranger backpack. It also gets a 10% critical hit chance plus 3% for each clover that I've 
got going at the beginning. And right now I've got four clovers. Now this build is light on clovers and I see that, but the store is basically has not been kind to me when it comes to getting the clovers. All right, this uh, corrupted crystal that's needed for the whip because it will give the whip 50% more damage when they hit 30%. So it's like a finishing, it's like finish them. All right, let's move this here. So right now I don't have any room for these four bangers. I'll go on to the next. There we go. That's the clover that we need. Okay, so we're going to need some bag space. We'll, we'll put this over here. That uh, stanima stat gives me a plus one maximum stanima. All right, I got two. I'll bring over this. All right, so what I could do here, I don't think I can, no, because I would need a, a bag here to shift all this over one so I could get this closer to the pumpkin. Don't think that, yeah, that doesn't make a difference. All right, let's go. Let's go to the next round. Oh, wow, this opponent's pretty decked out. Got some ice stuff going on. All right. All right. Definitely right out of the gate, they're going to give us one of these. We're going to put this up. Oh, I can put it right there, actually. We need bag space. Oh, this is exactly what we needed was that right there. So that puts the, uh, it's one, two, three, four. And this top one's going to be a four banger. I could do this and then try to get a, a one. All right. So now what I can do is I can move this over. Now that I did that outer edge, to put the fruits closer to the pumpkin or the vegetables closer to the pumpkin, so now that pumpkin's covering more, more of that. All right, so I'm looking pretty good here. Let me see if I. I mean, this is uh, this here is an overlap. I noticed that. Usually, what I try to do is have two of the fanny packs boom boom up and down. To cover that so if we see one i mean we're towards the end here it is i haven't been given that many options for i mean obviously i've got five of them oh ooh, we got owned right there that's my first loss right there okay so what we need is clover oh this is exactly what we needed so what i can do now is take this out and flip this around and I should have done this earlier to allow that uh, that thorn whip to go faster even faster now I've got another one of these to add I can move this up to there to give me the faster all right I could add another one of these ring actually I'll add this here to right there to make those gloves vampiric and we'll just go from here oh wow look at this person they got some armor all right so that's going to merge and make those vampiric which makes the items go faster and gives me the vampiric oh here's another corrupt i mean this is this is crazy so there's another corrupted crystal uh, so no, I can't fit that in. What I'm looking for is like I was saying is clovers. I guess we could add the carrot now, now that we got, we'll get the value over five because what's nice with the carrot is once you get your clover value over five, it has a 50% chance to give you a, you know, a little speed, uh, buff. All right, let's just go on. I think this is the last round actually folks. Ooh, I'm getting owned. I got owned. No, I guess we got one more. All right. We'll bring this over here. We'll bring this down. Pull the cord. None of that will fit. Pull the cord. Pull the cord. That won't fit, but I can get this. All right. So we're basically where we need to be with... Uh, the bag being full. We got to get this back in. I'm actually going to just sell these potions. 
All right. Is there a place where I can put this to fit in here? I mean, I'm totally maxed out. I guess not. Let's pull the cord and see if we can get that, that two bag spot filled. No, never got. Well, you can do that. That gives me two. I can get rid of this. I can now get rid of this. I'll bring this over. Yeah, and I wasn't able to fill that. That would have been nice if I could fill that. So that's it, folks. This is it right here. Last round. I'm just hoping that I believe this is the last round. Wow, look at this guy. Holy moly, moly, moly. That guy's got some cool stuff. Yeah, that guy, I mean, he was, I mean, look at the, uh, look at how jammed out this guy is. I mean, that's just crazy. I don't think I could, I don't think, if I, out of all the hours I've played this game, which is a lot, I don't think I could ever make this, what is here. I don't know how you'd be possibly able to do that with all these things, all these gems at high value. I mean, I, I mean, obviously I don't know the game well enough because that's just crazy mode. Look at all those upgraded gems in there. All right, we got through it though. There we go. It adds to my ranking. So it's not nothing to sneeze at. It added 22 to my ranking. But that's it, folks. It's a little gameplay of Backpack Battles today. I want to thank you for watching my channel and have a good day and have fun gaming.